In this video, we'll take a look at how to calculate whether to purchase or to lease an asset when we have a residual value for the purchase option. So the example here is that you want to buy a computer at $2,000. And if you want to buy it via a lease, the annual lease payment is $580 paid at the start of your period. That is the zeroth year. And then at the end of the first year, second and third year. And we assume that the life of the computer is for three years. But here, unlike the previous example, the computer has some residual value. So if you were to purchase the computer, then you'd pay $2,000 upfront. But at the end of the three year period, you can maybe sell that computer on the internet and make some residual money out of it. So you have a $400 income at the end. So just notice the sign. In the case of the purchase option, you pay 2000 so the sign is plus, and at the end, you receive $400, so the sign is minus. In the case of the lease option, you just pay $580 at the start of the period and $580 at the end of every year thereafter for three years. And the annual interest rate that you're facing is 10%. So this is the interest rate at which you can borrow from your bank. And this will be your cost of capital for evaluating the purchase versus the lease option. What we can do is compute the net present value of the purchase option, the net present value of the lease option and compare the two. Whichever has the lower net present value is the less expensive option. So let's compute that equals net present value as we know is the first payment plus NPV of the interest rate which is 10% and the cash flows which is B8 through B10 and close the parenthesis press enter so $1636.36 whereas here the net present value is again we use the same formula the initial value of C7 plus NPV of and you should uh, not forget to include the interest rate, I'm just putting a comma here and B4 is the interest rate. If not, it will complain. So here we are with uh, the net present value for the purchase option and the lease option. And now we can have an if function. If this value is less than this value, then you want to say go with purchase. Otherwise, you want to say go with lease. So right now, the purchase option is more attractive. It's net present value is less so that means the money out of your pocket adjusted for the time value of money is $1,636.36 if you go with purchase but it is $2,022.37 if you go with lease so you should go with purchase and as before you can vary some of these parameters and see how this might differ so if you have a higher cost of capital then the numbers will change so let's say $540 or $520. So you can see in this case that no matter what you do, the residual value makes the purchase option really attractive. So let's try reducing this a little bit. Let's make this $100. And now you see that the lease amount is more attractive because its present value is lesser. So that's how you would compute lease versus purchase in the presence of a residual value that you can get in the purchase option. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.